The truth about sumo wrestling, let's check it out. You've seen them in media everywhere. Video games, music video Oh yeah, man. When I first learned about it, I was like seven years old, bro. When was the first time you learned about sumo wrestlers being a thing, guys? Videos, cartoons, commercials, the list goes on. Commercials, bro. <laughs> Not commercials for me. Most of Western society looks at sumo as a joke. So he likes to watch two fat guys with diapers, but... But it's not, bro, it's not. It's a legitimate sport, guys. Japan has such a good influence on the world. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Anime, Nintendo, Sega, like all the good stuff, bro. Overweight men. Uh, but we got some influence as well, USA. That's where I live. Uh, we got some influence as well, guys, right? And colliding in nothing but diapers. But it's more than that. Sumo wrestling is. It's not a diaper, man. Real. Has anyone watched, like, uh, sumo wrestling championships or anything, guys? Yeah, they're about to go at it, bro. Whoa. Okay, I didn't know it was this intense. Dang, bro, they're like almost fighting at that point, bro. I don't think the headshots are allowed. Imagine sumo wrestling, but with like, um... Actual, like, MMA, but I think you need gloves for that, right, guys? So no one gets hurt that bad. But, like, MMA mixed with sumo, man. O only if it's a, you know... Uh, or boxing mixed with sumo, because cause, uh, MMA is kind of dangerous, like, really dangerous, and I don't, I don't recommend doing MMA, guys. Yeah, bro, I think the, the guy in the red got out there. Right, to understand and appreciate a sport, one must first know the rules. Sumo matches are held on a dojo, a handmade clay ring with an inner circle made of cylinder straw bales that are partially buried, creating a diameter of 4.55 meters. Wrestlers wear... Damn, bro. I wonder... Th th then they charge $2,000 for installment, right, guys? I wonder if these guys have, like, a... Guys, why do they have bandages over their toe? They're nothing but a mo I wonder if they have like them installed in their house for practicing or something. Washi. A sort of belt that allows free range of movement as well as a handle for fighters to grip on. Sadly, this is why many people are unattracted to the sport. But that's really immature and it's a part of their culture and optimal for the sport to be played. Two wrestlers start opposite from each other in the ring. The closest they can get is to these two lines called the Shikri Sen, but are allowed to go as far back from those lines as they please. Upon being signaled, the instant both Stamp, most keep kind of close to the line. I don't see them really going backwards. Three. I don't think it would be optimal, right, guys? The guy could just, like, quickly push you and then you'd be done for. Hands touch the dohyo, they charge at each other. This initial charge is called the tachiai. That guy's kind of uh, back a little bit though. The wrestler loses if anything but their feet touches the ground. If a rikishi, what professional sumo wrestlers are called, is pushed, thrown, tripped, or just accidentally snap bro, he grabbed his waistband like steps out of the ring, they've lost. A referee called Dang, it, it, it's pretty intense right here guys. Called a gyoji calls when to start the match by so the strongest guy in the world do you think you'd lose against these guys it seems to be like the heavy the heavy built uh, seem to win these matches for the most part by pointing down his gun by a sort of fan and then remains on the dojo with a rikishi calling the play-by-play -play to let them know if they're still in or have lost the gyoji then declare they even got a ref guys like it's boxing or something. Here's the winner by pointing to the side upon- Guys, isn't it kind of a scary- Or kind of annoying as a boxer? Or MMA? That there's gonna be like a ref inside the ring the whole time? You're gonna lose like some free range movement, right guys? 
in which the winter started. But it's also for safe re safety reasons, right? On rare occasions where the winter is too close to call, five judges surrounding the ring will get up onto the dohyo and discuss what they saw and who they think won, while a sixth judge is in a replay room and tells them what he saw. This is called a mono e. Then a winner is reannounced, and if it's too close to call, a rematch will be held. There are do's and don'ts in sumo. There is no hair pulling, punching, kicking, eye gouging, or. Dang, okay, definitely not. Eye gouging's terribly not the not a good thing to do in sumo, right, guys? Or in any sport. Weapons allowed. If you purpose <laughs> what, what? disobey any of these rules, you will be awarded a loss. Surprisingly, though, slaps to the face, thrusts to the neck, and headbutting at the takiai are Ouch, bro. all still free game. Tournaments are called basho. They last 15 days and are on the odd-numbered months. Each rikishi fight once a day, and the rikishi with the most- They got tournaments? MMA doesn't really hold tournaments, guys. It makes sense because you recover quickly from this. Wins at the end of the 15 days wins the basho. The rules are pretty simple, but it's the culture that makes. Says the first step or fall out of the ring loses. Sumo so complex. Culture is formed by history. Sumo originated in Japan several hundred years ago and has a deep, rich history. Everything in modern sumo accounts to that history. There are so many rituals and traditions carried out today that date back hundreds of years ago. Guys, what are they spreading on the ring though, guys? I could spend hours- Oh, it looks like they're not leaving it on there. Hours talking about it. Sumopedia. Do they have a Wikipedia for sumo wrestling? I probably do, they probably do. But I won't. Just understand sumo is an ancient sport, and like old things, should be respected. You wouldn't spit in your grandmother's face, would you? The no, we wouldn't, no, we wouldn't. The reason Rikishi are huge men who wear nothing but a mawashi not only goes back centuries, but is optimal for the sport to be played at its peak. One common misconception is that sumo wrestlers are fat, but they aren't. They merely have fat. Most of the fat in their bodies is stored just beneath their skin, and not on the inside and around their organs. This is because they work out five plus hours a day. Dude, that's quite a bit, oh snap. For Western culture to shame that is like if Japan made fun of Americans for wearing helmets and tackling each other in full body armor over a pigskin ball. Now they're- Go eat, Rose. Come on, Tipsy, you wanna eat? We're hungry. Come on, Amber. There are resources you can use to find out the history behind every ritual and tradition in sumo, and I'll link those at the end of the video and in the description. But not only does sumo deserve- Whoa, he just body slammed the guy? What the heck, hold on. He just body slammed him. the end of the video and in the description. But not only does sumo deserve- Guys, that's, that's a legal move, right? Dang, bro, he, he got- he got straight up bodies, man. Respect for how ancient it is and how long it has lasted, but it deserves respect for the rikishi within it. Even though sumo wrestling is Japan's now. I think there's like weight classes to this, guys. National sport. There, there has to be, right? Sport. Being a sumo wrestler in the modern age isn't all fame and glamour. The road to being pro is a rigorous and life. Imagine walking that road, man. That would be terrible. That'd take like all day or longer, man. Flung in. That's, that's how, that's how, if, you, if you're wondering where I live, it kind of looks like that, basically. Endeavor. In Japanese elementary and high schools, sumo clubs slash teams hold tournaments between other schools. Sometimes deciding one wants to become a professional sumo wrestler can start at that early of an age. Like all sports, no matter- Dang bro, gotta dedicate your life to that, basically. No matter how young one starts, one is not guaranteed success. Sumo has height requirements that if aren't reached or have any major accomplishments, one- can't become a sumo wrestler after high school although if what oh man hey it's just like ba basketball right guys if one manages sadly is to get past these hurdles, i couldn't i couldn't compete hurdles, they are only meant with more after going through sumo training school young men are recruited by bayas places of living training eating and sleeping that also date back several centuries they are run by ex rikishi who coach the wrestlers during training and practice bouts there the young recruits have to earn their keep by doing chores and waiting on the higher ranked rikishi hand and foot the hierarchy of beas all revolves around rankings in sumo there are divisions upon which rikishi are placed in 
Nah, bro, so they got a whole hierarchy, just like that other Japan video where we watched about corporate hierarchy. Compete at Basho. The divisions go from highest to lowest as follows. Mokuchi, Joryo, Wukushita, Sandanmei, Jonidan. Dang, bro. It's like a Illuminati pyramid, guys. And Jonokuchi. While only the top two divisions get salaried pay. So until Rikishi reach them, they are fighting for pennies. That's less salaried athletes than literally 120th of the NFL. That's how much I'd be making a day on YouTube, guys. Sometimes it's... Now that I can't upload on the main channel again. It takes years just to start earning a living in sumo. And sometimes, even after years, it never happens. So oh, man. Hopefully YouTube's not like this for me, man. It always takes years to build up the craft, it seems. Sumo is a brutal sport in competing for rank and the likelihood of injury that comes from it. In fact, the average lifespan... Yeah, it looks like you can get easily injured doing this. ...of sumo wrestlers after retirement is in the 60s. Dang, bro. Only 60s? What? So one might ask, why become a sumo wrestler? Where's the glory? Basho. Where all the culture, all the traditions, all the rituals... It's pr practically a fighting sport at this point, guys, right? ...all the training, all the eating, all the practice and hard work converge into one place. There are no weight classes in sumo. The rikishi of all sizes are equal. And as I said earlier, basho are tournaments held six times a year on the odd-numbered months for 15 days straight. Rikishi in the top two divisions fight every day, while the lower divisions fight only seven times, often every other day. The Rikishi with the most wins at the end of the Basho wins the tournament. Most Rikishi are content getting more wins than losses. This is called Akachi Koshi, and achieving that usually means a promotion in rank or safety from demotion. The reason Rikishi and he didn't look ha like he was happy when he took that loss, guys. Compete at Basho is not only for the prize money or for the awards. At guys, I got a ring light and I just realized I could have turned my brightness up on this monitor. Let me turn it off real quick and see how it is. One second. Got that open. Okay. So I, could eat, no, I don't even need the ring light on, but I'll keep it on right now. Oops. Fine like that. Alright. At the end, some of which include free gas for a year. But yeah, if I didn't turn the brightness up on this monitor, guys, like there'd be darkness around my like eye area. Here, like my god, I could use that. But they compete for the glory of accomplishing a That's a huge trophy. We don't get trophies like that, guys. Promotion in rank while showing the world their brand. Wait, that looks so like that'd be hard for us to like Pick up, right, guys? Well, although the ill-informed might think that there's no difference in how wrestlers win, just two men colliding and the stronger or heavier one wins, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Each rikishi have their own unique style of sumo that showcases their strengths. This is an- As I just want to see their salary. Are they making bank? Because they should, right? Oh. He is the smallest wrestler in the top division. He didn't meet the high requirements after high school, but he had a few noticeable accomplishments under his belt. So much so that he caught the eye of and was recruited by the 69th Yokozuna Hakuho. Enho is much smaller than other Rikishi, thus Sorry, his style of sumo had to adapt to that to be able to compete in the ring. Then you go. have Koto Shogiku, with his belly bumping style that looks weird and unconventional. Dang bro. So, hey. As long as we have our own style, everybody has their own style when playing games or doing, um, you know, sports, right, guys? So you, you can have your own, like, signature style. Conventional, but when it works... Dang, bro, he just slid that guy like it was, he was, it it was nothing, guys. The point is, the Basho are more than just a place of competition. There are plays for Rikishi to awe the world with their brand of sumo, techniques cultivated over the majority of their lives. That is to say, sumo is their artistic expression. Dang, bro. Why don't I see, like, sumo-related TikTok stuff? I want to see these guys, like, you know, and their millions of followers on TikTok. In a culture so quiet, so well-mannered, one <laughs> rarely gets the chance to showboat what they're truly proud of. Basho is their canvas. From the rituals upon which Yokozuna entered the ring, to the intense come from behind victories by the underdogs, even to the tossing of the salt onto the dohyo by the...
Oh, I thought that was snow, but come on now. <laughs> they showcase Japan's deep history and culture while simultaneously garnering in an audience with the spectacle of colossal titans battling it out for victory and respect. And as you know, and you don't have to wait like a uh, freaking months between in between matches like boxing or years. And Japan is all about the respect. After all, no snit. <laughs> Logan Paul, I, I remember seeing that video when it first got released, man. All this, you may be wondering, why like sumo wrestling? Why watch it? It's kind of hard to explain until you experience it. It's like trying to explain fireworks to a blind person. If I were to sum it up personally, I would say it's like the magic school bus meets the magic treehouse meets demolition derby meets Pokemon, then you're almost close to the experience of watching sumo wrestling. Hey, accurate I guess? I, I don't know. These men dedicate their lives to sumo, from their attitude and mannerisms to their body- Hey, I, I, I'll tune in, you know, if they're dedicating their lives to th something, you know, just like- Occasionally watch like basketball or something. Body and lifestyle. Being a sumo wrestler is a 24-7 commitment. Rikishi can get banned for life for getting into a fight at a bar. The respect-oriented yet well-mannered culture of not showing much emotion in sumo allows for some interesting situations you wouldn't find in any other sport. Take this match for example. On the left, the 69th Yokozuna Hakuho, a man of Mongolian Rank given to Rikishi, whom are the best of the. Now, the one many Basho consecutively. A rank that cannot be lost. In descent, who is debatably the greatest of all time, breaking most of the sumo records to date. And on the right, Takayasu, Ozeki, who trained under former Japanese born Yokozuna Casino Sato. Once both Rikishi's hands touched the ground, the. Thing. Everybody's focused on the match going on here, guys. Match can start. That is called a mata, a false start. Ooh. It usually happens when both Rikiji's hands aren't on the ground at the same time so that they're not in sync. Once this happens, the Gyoji calls mata and they reset their positions and try to become in sync. But there, Hakuho obviously saw that Takayasu's hands were not both down. So you wonder, what's going through Hakuho's head? Was that some sort of power move? Was he trying to assert his dominance? Oh, he got like super close for some reason, guys. And you wonder what's going through Takayasu's head as that happened to him. Just watch the interactions from here. Guys, I wonder how much they charge for like a front row seat at one of these events. Guys, is that sweat running down? Not sure which one is more scared to start the battle, guys. So they're both waiting to put like their hands down or something? It's like a staring contest. There should be a contest for staring, right guys? Finally, Hakuo thinks that Takayasu is low enough to start. The point is, there was so much intensity and pressure in silence. And they clash, like, it's like Clash of Titans or something, bro. You heard that? It was like, Phew. Hakuo is the Yokozuna, the top of the top, and he demands that respect. Without even fighting, there was so much intensity in the air without words being said at all. And then you have these sweet, beautiful moments of passion where Tomokaze just beat Yokozuna Kakiru, which is such a huge accomplishment. If you beat a Yokozuna at a significantly lower level, it's like beating Michael Jordan in a 1v1 basketball game. And so... Hey bro, he's like... He's not happy, bro. It happens. It happens, bro. It's not like the other guy wasn't training 
for a while. Tomokaze doing this, he thinks of his mentor, Yoshikaze, who is also a sumo wrestler and had just happened to announce his retirement that week. And it overwhelms him with a bittersweet victory that he's won, but his mentor is retiring. So I just want you to look at his emotion and passion and happiness in this interview after. Wait, so he made him retire? Some tears when you're heading uh, down the Hanamichi. Man, they're gonna make me start crying, bro. Well, it's all about uh, Yoshikaze, my senior at the stable, Oguruma Bea, unable to do his sumo and announce his retirement as Nakamura Oyakata just this week. But I was able to do my best sumo as of now, and I think that was a good win for him. And he could barely like, form a sentence and stuff, guys. Behind their stoic faces of victory, there's a real person. A person who just wants to show the world their best. Sumo is unlike any other combat sport there is. Only one round and no best ofs. I asked I think it's just one and done, guys. A group of hey, boxing's the same way. If you take, if you get, you know, KO'd, it's a loss. It's a permanent loss. Fans, what their favorite aspects of sumo are. Here were some of their responses. The rules are simple and have been the same for centuries. Two men enter, one man wins. The bouts can last five minutes or just five seconds. There's a combination of brutal force and technical nimbleness. The fact that you can root for your favorite trikishi throughout a 15-day basho and what their peaks and pitfalls in rank are throughout the year. Sumo has a lot more at stake than most other like a stalemate right here guys sports the use of traditionalism mixed with Japanese culture Sumo is pure and real Facts bro facts if you're interested in watching sumo live or keeping up with sumo culture I'll link some helpful resources down in the description Special thanks to NHK Japan, the Grand Sumo Discord, and Facebook groups, Jason. Guys, they put a lot of research into these videos, so check out the original video, like, subscribe, comment. It's all Sumo Channel, Embovo Sumo, Milky T, Chris Gold, and you for watching. Uh, oops, what is going on? Um, sorry, I was trying to use a touch screen and that happened. Um. All right, guys. Uh, let's read a few comments here. And due to Jimmy, the high requirement game pushed back to only flip the other wrestler around the ring was wild. I've seen sumo wrestler before and watched sumo match in person. Let me tell you this: they're actually a freak of nature. You can actually feel the ground shakes when they slam each other, and the amount of force they can generate is crazy. It's like watching two bears kill each other. The guy crying after winning was so wholesome. He has a it hit me as well, bro. He was happy. Well, I lived as a, in Masuna house for a day. 10,000 calorie diet. Diets, fights, sleepovers. He was happy to win for himself. But even so far as mentor. So for his mentor. Incredibly, incredibly humble. Much respect. Imagine the entire offensive line of fo in football is just replaced with professional student wrestlers. That'd be interesting. But yeah, guys, that's our video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, everyone. See you guys next one. Check out uh, Fanny Paxter in the description. Later, guys.